I have a Samsung Galaxy A12 here. I'm going to show you how to transfer files such as photos and videos directly from your A12 to a Windows computer, laptop, PC using the cable. Okay, so first thing is go ahead and grab your charging cable. You should have a USB-A to a USB-C. So USB-A, we're going to go ahead and pop this into our USB port into the uh, Windows laptop here. And then we're going to go ahead and grab the A12 here. And I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Now, let's go ahead and log in here. Let's see. Yeah. I don't hear nothing right now. What's going on here? Oh, here we go. Okay, I see a Galaxy A12 down here. Uh, sometimes you'll get like a message on here. So it'll say like allow um, phone data. You have to click on allow, okay? Not sure why mine didn't do that. But uh, anyways, okay, so I can see, uh, so I have Galaxy A12 down here. I go up here under phone. If you have no information on here, then what you may want to do is just uh, unplug it and reconnect it. If you still have issues, try to change different cable or change to a different USB port on your um, computer or laptop. So we're going to go to the phone here, double click on this. And then what we want to do is go to DCIM. That's where all your photos and videos are. DCIM folder. So we're going to double click on that. Okay, and under that, I got uh, two folders. I got my camera folder here where I took my photos and videos, and I have screenshots where I just took screenshots. So let me go into the camera here, and I have some videos and um, um, photos here as well. You can tell that they're photos if you have if it says like a JPEG file. You can tell if it's a video, if it has like, you know, how many minutes or seconds or a time on there, okay? So basically from here, what I typically do is just put it right to my desktop. So you can choose like one, whatever one you want, and just drag and drop it right onto the desktop. Or what I typically do is I'll just right click on the desktop here and I'll go down to new and I'll create a new folder. And I'll call this one uh, A21. Or I just call it A, that's fine. And then what I'll do is I'll highlight everything I have on here and I'll drag and drop it right into this new folder I called A. So I'll give it one second to transfer. All right, there we go. I can go ahead and unplug this. And now this, all those photos and videos are saved to my Windows computer. Let me double click on that and you can see those photos and videos right there. So pretty simple. Questions, issues, comment below. Good luck.